So we're here today with Gerald Matchell, who's the Vice President for KTM R&D on the street side of things. And we've been showing off uh, a new system uh, which we're bringing out in the near future, ACC, Adaptive Cruise Control, and also Blind Spot Detection. So I wanted to ask you, Gerald, a little bit more about these systems, why we're developing them, and, and when we could expect to see them. We have already a normal cruise control on our bikes, and uh, we saw this more and more traffic on, uh, on the road. It's uh, important also to go here the next step to give the, the rider a little bit more safety, that he keeps a safe distance to the vehicle in front of him. And also we, we think that this technology, when we use a surrounding sensor, which is then mounted a radar sensor, gives us also the opportunity for even more functions. So riding on board the bike, how does the system work then? So you're operated like a normal cruise control. Uh, what, what happens in, in this adaptive situation? You choose your target speed and you can also choose then your safety distance to the vehicle in front of you. And then uh, as long as the vehicle in front of you is slower than the target speed he is controlling the speed uh, on his own so it means he's accelerating and decelerating on his own by using the throttle and or the brake. Always having your mirrors, you have a blind spot what you do not see, and we all know that it's very dangerous with a motorcycle. This situation, as it is now on this prototype, we have some LEDs mounted in the mirror, and uh, if you look into the mirror and if you see no vehicle, nothing there, but still then the LED is on, so you see there is there is something there, and uh, you know okay then. Uh, there is something beside me, so I'm, I cannot uh, change the lane. For sure, it will still take take a while to bring this to market. So it's uh, for sure not the next and not also the, the year after this. So it will take a little bit longer because now we are in intensive testing. Both of these systems has to be proven really in real situations.